Okay, this is actually video 16, but I want to go back to where we left off in, in the last video and point out something that I failed to mention. And that is, we said we needed at least 50 hosts in each subnet. Well, do I have 50? Well, yeah, I've got everything from 1 to 126, but I can easily look at the chart and say right away how many hosts I can get. If I use this column, I can get 126 hosts per network right 2 minus uh, 128 minus 2 126 hosts so i did have i had no trouble at all uh, getting 50 hosts in each subnet well let's take another example here and see what we can do with it i've got the same chart this chart is one that i would create before and i didn't put the fourth octet here but this is indeed the fourth um, octet um, so I'm going to do another problem using this fourth octet here. Uh, again, I like to have this. In fact, I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, grab it from up here and put it in there so that we... Whoops. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Let's try that again. Copy it and paste it down here. There we go. I'm going to put it down here so we can see it. All right, fourth octet. I've been given the network 100.100.100.0, 255, 255, 255, 0. So I know that I'm dealing with the fourth octet now, right? Because these are all already network. I need to do something here in order to subnet this thing. I've been asked to create four subnets with at least 12 hosts per network. Okay, remember I can only do 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So let's go ahead and, and count our subnets here. This is subnet number 1, 2, 3, and 4. I can, I can find my first network address. It's right here. Right? That's my starting point. 100.100.100.0. There it is. I can also say what my first host address is. 100 dot 100 dot 100 dot 1 right? that's going to be the first usable address I don't know these yet until I move here and by the way I forgot to uh, uh, change the coloration here back to white for that one so let's do that now I need four networks with at least 12 hosts per network if I borrow this from this column I can get two right again my subnets i sort of imagine them above here two four eight sixteen if i borrow from this column i can get four subnets ah that's what i need so i'm going to bother or borrow from this column and we'll shade that gray to remember it now can i get 12 hosts yes in fact i can get 62 hosts all i have to do is look at the chart and see how many hosts i can get I can get four networks with 62 hosts per network. So not a problem at all. I certainly can get 12 hosts per subnet. Next, I need to know what increment I'm going to increase this address by. Well, I just look up here in this column. Uh, and again, remember that uh, once I identify a column like this, all I have to do is use that column to get all of this information. And I also use this information here, the fact that I'm in the fourth octet, to know where these numbers go. So the increment is 64 in the fourth octet. See here, 64, fourth octet. In this case, looking over from there. 64 in the fourth octet is the increment. So the fourth octet, I'm going to increment by 64. Let's increment the next one. 100.100.100.128. And the next one, 100.100.100.192. There we go. That's... Uh, Six to, increments of 64, which I just read right off the chart. That's the increment, and I want to do it in the fourth octet here because I was given a fourth octet network to start with. Now I can fill in pretty much all the rest of this except for one thing. What 
how am I going to get the broadcast address of this next one? Well, 192 plus 64 is going to end up being, uh, let's put back here, 100.100.100.256. That's not a legal uh, address. However, it is something that we can use to give us our broadcast address here. So let's just fill these in. I can fill them in now however I want, but let's go ahead and fill in all of our first addresses. 100.100.100. Well, 1 after 64 is 65. 1 after 128 is 129. 1 after 192 is 193. Let's do our broadcast. I can't really get the last until I get the broadcast. If this is 256 here, which is not a valid IP address, but we know that the one before this is 255. The one before 192 would be 191. The one before 128 would be 127. And the one before 64 would be 63. Oops, 63. Now I can get the last address because it's one lower than the broadcast address. 62 for that. 127, so it's 126. 191, so it's 190. And for this one, 255, so it's 254. What about the subnet mask or the CIDR? Well, rather than giving the subnet mask, which is uh, the fourth octet here, if I follow this, which would be 192 in the fourth octet, I'll just go ahead and give the CIDR notation for these, make it a lot quicker. slash 26. I can get rid of this. I don't need it any longer. And there we go. I have now subnetted this network into four subnets, and they do have at least 12 hosts per subnet. As a matter of fact, 61 to 62. So I've got uh, uh, 62 possible uh, uh, addresses here for each one. So there we go. You've got it. And, and that's, it's not that tough, really. It's just a matter of getting used to reading the chart. And the chart is going to be, I'm going to identify which column I'm in, identify which octet I'm in, and then use this information to fill in this chart. I got increments, hosts, value, subnet mask, and so on. Fairly simple. All right, in the next video, we'll do one in the, well, we'll do, we'll do one... Uh, that will kind of up the ante here a little bit um, by not giving us as much information. So we'll see you in video 17.